Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Do know that you can always uh, get a personal reading. You can like, share, comment, subscribe uh, to the channel. You can get a personal reading by going to the web. I'm sorry, I get a phone call and it just threw me off. We'll actually get a FaceTime. I think FaceTime are so invasive. Like you need to schedule a FaceTime with me, okay? Don't just FaceTime me out of the blue. Anyway, back to you guys. Um, you can get your own personal reading by going to the website. You can ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. So let's get into it guys. Um, so when I was shuffling off camera for you, camera for you, you guys, uh, it's like somebody wants to have another go round with you. They, but if they feel like maybe the ball is in your court or you feel like the ball is, is in someone else's court in terms of making the decision to come back together, you guys are separated, but you do a lot of thinking of each other, maybe at night or, you know, around the full moon, new moon, when your emotions are kind of stirred here. Um, you could yeah you could be dealing with a virgo i don't know something about separation here and just questioning your own philosophy of life or maybe question this questioning this other person's way you could be an entrepreneur have your own business very dynamic something about fitness and keeping yourself in shape here also i don't know um There needs to be some declaration of your intentions, it says the other person. They want to know what you intend to do or how you intend to fix it or something like that or vice versa. This is what this is what you're saying. All right. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for my caps. Yep. Eight of Wands. Um, so somebody's like, look, you need to tell me what's up. What, what do you want? What are we doing? How are you going to fix it? What's your intentions? There is an energy of manifestation here. Uh, the law of attraction. Also, like infatuation, maybe a little obsession. It's like somebody's trying to manifest from a place of ego. I want this or I want this person back because um, to not have them is a bruise to my ego, to how I feel, to me. It's a, basically... When people say ego, it's just a, more so that the person is always circling back around to them or the, the situation always circles back around to that one person or somebody who can sway uh, the narrative back to them or, you know, just ego, ego, where it's just all it's I, I, I. So it's like maybe someone is trying to manifest you because, you know, it feeds them. It's all about them, you know. Um this person could want to communicate with you it's up in the air in terms of communication they think about it or you guys could communicate at night too for some of you you are communicating with this person at night because they're already married or coupled or you have to wait until they communicate with you all right it's getting messy already yep the three of cups here um it could be that it, this is a third party situation or yeah there's some communication about creating what are we creating what are we we're dating or we're coming together or what are we doing where's this going how do you feel communicate your feelings and your thoughts freely um some of you could be speaking with you know siblings sisters brothers uh close neighbors relatives in terms of what's going on or, or there are people in your community who are asking questions or sending email or sending some type of electronic communication asking you what is going on maybe with your connection or yet yeah, your connection with a certain person oh lord they, it's so so it's other people in your business too what is going on here yeah the knight of swords it seems as if you have to defend yourself here with the knight of swords um <clears throat> also someone could feel like you're getting away or, or you feel like someone else is getting away so you need to do something big to bring them back bring them back into the fold bring them back into the relationship not that you're going to change anything or not that you have any plan or course of action here because <clears throat> the only plan the knight of swords has is the plan of getting you back now they get you back there's nothing else after that the Knight of Swords is very intellectual also. So it's like somebody wants to intellectualize their viewpoint. They do know what they're talking about. 
and they do know how to formulate sentences, you know, to the point where you are just, you know, kind of dumbfounded or at least you're, you're, you're willing to hear them out. So there's somebody here who, uh, and it could come off a bit confrontational and aggressive, but they want, they're determined to, to sway you, to, to move you in their direction here. Uh, or you could be having to defend yourself against other people, um, asking about maybe a connection, your relationship, a marriage, I don't know, or another woman. Yeah, the moon card. Um, there's some things you don't know um, and you're defending uh, either your person or you're defending yourself. Uh, you do, it's Wow. <clears throat> there's a lot of unknown here. There's a lot of just not being clear. You're getting some vivid dreams or you're thinking about this at night. There is some inclination. Okay. Whatever you're thinking, whatever is manifesting in your spirit, it is true. It's like you're trying to, the moon is trying to give you illumination, you know, at night in your dream space. The sun is trying to give you illumination in terms of what you see to be real, to be true, to feel. what sets you on fire because that is what is true Ooh, um something is taking you out of your comfort zone the hangman it's like something is all it's up in the air but you've kind of been hands off with it up in the air in terms of some feminine energy you're waiting for enlightenment in terms of how this person feels or what they want to do. They want to know, have you sacrificed something or are you willing to sacrifice something or anything? If somebody knows that they did wrong, so they know that they just need to take a time out and figure out what it is they can do to fix this. Or they're waiting for the other person to tell them what they can do to fix whatever it is, fix this. Yeah, the nine of wands. Yeah, somebody's definitely waiting waiting for the other person somebody's withdrawn from the connection they don't know what, what what's coming next they don't know what to do they don't know if it's if this is the end it's not the exact end but it definitely could you know be on the brink of ending somebody has taken themselves out of the equation because it was too turbulent it was too drama filled there's a lot of jealousy backbiting trouble in the connection Maybe trouble that you guys did not even converse about. You didn't really have those conversations. Therefore, it just kept festering. Somebody's asking themselves, do they even fight for this connection? Do I, do I continue to fight for this connection or do I let it go? Someone keeps looking at the past. They can't let it go. Therefore, they can't see their future because they keep looking at the past here. This is what I have for you. Wow. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the full card. Um, you might need to go in a new direction, either with or without someone. I don't know. New beginnings, new direction, the full card, take a leap of faith. Uh, once you get that enlightenment here, this is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. All right. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.